In Lexington, Kentucky, at the Clyde M. Beck Center on Wednesday night, the Transylvania Pioneers played host to one of the biggest matchups in college basketball in the early part of the season as they welcomed in the number five nationally ranked and HCAC rivals, the Hanover College Panthers. It was a big time showdown as Transylvania came into the evening's contest with a 4 0 overall record, 1 0 against HCAC opposition. Meanwhile, the Hanover Panthers, mightily favored, entered the night's proceedings with an overall record of 5 5 and 1 and 1 and 0 in HEAC play. Both teams began attacking one another, being very physical from the outset. Here's Michael Jefferson, the surefire freshman guard for Transylvania, who's given them a pop right after the opening of the season, starting with the first seven points of the night. And then as the game continued, here's junior Bo Shu setting up Drew Trimble, the sophomore forward, inside for a nice two. Gabe Schmidt, who entered the evening leading the nation in three point shooting at a fiery hot 75% pops inside for a long two there and then meanwhile as the game continues more Drew Trimble on the second effort getting it done he's pumped up as are the rest of the pioneers and then Michael Jefferson going back to work a nasty looking move in the mid range as Transylvania climbed ahead by double figures in the first half Hanover roared back but head coach Brian Lane of the pioneers told Transylvania to keep on fighting here they do as they come up with a backcourt turnover forced and they convert. They blew it out to a 30-point lead against Hanover. Here's Devin 20, the freshman backup guard, with a big bucket down the stretch. And then as the game continued, Hanover made one final push, but Transylvania stood strong. 20 over to Schmidt, and eventually the ball ends up with Spencer McKinney in the corner for the final dagger of this contest. The final score from Transylvania University. It is the Pioneers remaining undefeated as they up set the number five nationally ranked Hanover Panthers for their second loss of the season. Transylvania shot better than 42% from the field. Head coach Brian Lane with more of his thoughts. I mean, our, our assistant coaches have done a great job of, of preparing our guys about how physical the game uh, was going to be. And, and the, all the tape that we had watched on, on Hanover you know, from this year and last year, they go to the offensive glass so well. And if, uh, if you don't put an arm you know, in on them and, and block them out, they're going to get up, get airborne and, and, and get second shot. So, like I said, only only giving up two offensive rebounds in the first half was was a big reason that if they were, you know, we were able to go in with a with a double digit halftime lead. It's a big game, and we've been done 15 minutes. I'm still sweating. And I mean, that, you know, it, it was a big one because it's a conference conference game, and uh, we we needed to set that tone early. About, I mean, this team is really good. I mean, I, I really really like what we've been able to do. Uh, the trip to the Dominican Republic at the beginning, and getting those extra practices. Uh, the last two games, we 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 really stretched it out to big big leads, and I and, and we just didn't didn't bring it in uh, in the port, as as they say, but. Um, I, I like the fact that those those key guys that are starting and coming right off the bench, I mean, they're, they're getting us to where we, we need to be. Transylvania will continue their season next on Saturday as they play host to the Rose Holman Institute of Technology Fight and Engineers. That'll be an HEAC matchup tipping off from the Beck Center at 3 p.m.